showing molecules and surfaces during seminar with a JMOL applet web page. This has four sections. First, how to set up and run the web page using XAMP. Two, the JMO applet web page in action. Three, how to customize the applet web page. And four, alt tabbing between Firefox or Safari and PowerPoint. Java web pages must be hosted on a web server for the applet to work. However, it need not be a remote server. You can host the web pages locally on your desktop or laptop using the free XAMP web server. XAMP installs itself by default in the C XAMP folder and web pages are stored within the XAMP HD Docs folder. Download and expand JMOL and put a copy of the JMOL folder and files in the C XAMP HD Docs folder. Create a, a, a folder for the web page and data files. It must be within the JMOL folder. Finally, run the web page by entering its path name in the Firefox address box, substituting localhost for xamp slash hddocs. Okay, here is the web page in action. It is a table with one row and two columns. The molecules are on the left and the buttons are on the right. Now let's look at the HTML file that codes for the web page. Two script segments are mandatory, one in the head section that gives the location of the JMO applet and one in the body to start the applet. The overall width of the table is 1200 pixels and the width of the left-hand column is 1000. The page opens with the teropyrene molecule already showing and that is accomplished with this JMO applet script. The various JMOL commands separated by semicolons are placed inside the quotes. These commands, for instance, load the molecular structure, format the appearance, place a title. Each button is coded by a, a JMOL button script. And again, the JMOL commands are inside the quotes. A zap wipes away the existing molecule, uh, loads a new one or reloads the original, formats the molecule, and puts a new title on the page. The label on the button itself is, it follows a comma and is in quotes. If you want to show a surface, do a molecular orbitals job with MOPAC or other quantum package using a WebMO website such as UAFs. Save the surface as a cube or JVXL file in the data folder. And also don't forget to save the uh, mole structure. So for instance, down here, we use an isosurface command to show the JVXL file. Creating and saving the surface file is explained in more detail on my YouTube video, JMOL, MOs, and PowerPoint. Now notice how I have both the browser and the editing program open. This way you can see the results of a change in the file by saving the file and reloading the web page. For example, I will change the background color of the hexahelicine window to black. Finally, a brief demonstration of switching back and forth between the slides. So here's a slide about terapyrene. Go back and forth like this to give a much better image of your molecular structures with the JMO applet web page. The end.